I've got, I've got, I've got to join 10, 10 30. Why are you shaking? Calm down, calm down. You're all nervous. You're all nervous. I know you were away earlier, but if you don't believe it, this is what he says. So he says right. Jesus, to Jesus, well, your God. Okay. You're not making a point. I it's am. If you allow me, point. if you allow me uh, patience, you need to. Get so when, to Jesus, when he says to Jesus, your God, do you agree first and foremost that Jesus has a God? I agree that Jesus is God as mentioned in the chapter. Which Does he have a God? Yes or no? Which you ignored the passage where he clearly calls him God. He calls Jesus God. I didn't disagree. I agreed with you. So if you agree with that, then you agree that he is God and that yeah, the Father Jesus is God. No, 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 no. Don't put words in my mouth. See, I've answered your question. Will bro, you answer my question? Bro, Does bro, Jesus bro, have a God bro, according bro, to this bro, passage bro, as well? Bro, bro, Do you agree or bro, not? Bro, bro, you see, bro. the reason he's not answering and I answered, bro. I said, yes, Jesus is called yeah, God. First, first but does it mean, question. does it mean the okay. almighty God? No. Because okay. if you read John 10, 34, no, I'm really exaggerating. Oh, 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 you want to go to John, you want to go to John 20? No, no, John 10, 34. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go to John 10, 10 30. Why are you shaking? Calm down, calm down. You're all nervous. You're all nervous. What does Jesus say in John First, you need to answer my question. Does what, Jesus have a God or not? What does Jesus say in 10, John 10 30? I will come there. First, answer this says, question. I and the Father are one. And what is it in 10 34? Do you know? What? What does it say in 10 34? He didn't remember you're that ignoring. bit. You're I'm ignoring. not ignoring. You're I was ignoring. going there. But it, the reason you are reluctant I'm to answer my to clear question is this. That don't exist. If Jesus himself says that he has a God, who are we to dispute? For example, in John. He calls him God literally in the same passage. The Father calls Jesus God in the same passage. Bro. I've already if agreed. How many times have I to repeat this? Bro, if you're going to read from Hebrews 8 to 12, you've got to understand the But why are you disagreeing with verse 9? Where he says you're God. Why do you disagree with that? At least I answer the question, the but you're reluctant to answer. The reason he's reluctant to answer, when he says you're God, when God himself says you're God, and he doesn't want to disagree. He says that the Son is God. You're shouting again. Calm down. I have to shout because you're not listening. Oh, so in order for you, for me to listen, you have to shout. Wow. Where's the logic in that? There's no trinity yet. You haven't shown the trinity. Remember, he says three persons in one being. The topic was, is Jesus God? No, the topic was three persons in one being. Show me that from the Bible. So far, you have failed miserably. You could go to John 5, 7 and see that. Go on, go on. Bring first John 5, 7. The one that has been discarded by most of the Bibles, except the KJV. I know it has. Why? No, I'm, I'm saying, Why is it discarded? To, bro, if you wanted to see that, <laughs> if you wanted to see that, you could go with it. Why has it been discarded? Tell me. Bro, as we under, as see, no you, answer still. As I've told you, the Trinity works like this. God is one being in the three persons. Show me that in the Bible. You keep saying it. I'm you know, when I repeat I'm something, it doesn't you, mean you it's true. No, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, I give you many all right, chances. All right, all right, all right, I'll show you. I'll okay, show you three persons in one being. So he's failed attempt one. This is second attempt. I've not anything. Actually, you have. You haven't shown yeah, three you know, persons in one being. He showed me Hebrews yeah, one, yeah, one, eight, and nine. No, you. Why, by the time you bring it up, hopefully, I'll explain to them. The first attempt was Hebrews one, eight, and nine. There was no mention of three persons, or the three persons are I'm one being. What you want. Well, you, it's it's up to and the public to make up the mind. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 one minute. There's got nothing to do with Trinity. John, John 5, 2, no, John 5, 2, 5, John 5, 2, 6, and John 6, 6, 3. Yeah, read it. All three persons in the Godhead revive people and give them light. It doesn't say they are one. That is the whole point I wanted to prove. What's the word for one in the, in, in, in the Israelite Bible? Ikad. Ahad. Ikad mean? Ahad. Ahad, when it's, when it's associated with God Almighty, for example, in Deuteronomy 6, 4, when he so says, when, well, when, you asked me a question, when, when allow shoes, me to answer. When it's shoes, when allow it's me to answer, you asked me a question. It's a two-way conversation. Are you going to continue? Yes, I will. If you if you Hurry don't up, if you, if you don't Hurry stop, up, yeah, practice what you preach. Hurry so up. what I'm saying is that when I had when the term I had, whether in Arabic or in Hebrew, and it's almost the identical word, when it is. I didn't say I had. I said ikhad. Ikhad is another word, okay, in the Hebrew. Go and find out. There are different words. Bro, bro, the word. The word will you allow me to finish now? Okay, you can. You, means, you can bro. criticize. You don't know what it means, bro. Don't know what it means. Okay, what does it mean? Right, the word "ikad" means one. Yeah, but how? In, in which way one? When God says, "I was that, answering," that, that, if you allow me, you become one flesh. What does it mean? You know, do you always do this? Do you always interrupt when I'm answering? Bro, bro, bro. If God says you become one ikad, one flesh. What does it mean? If you heard me, if you let me finish. Does it mean that Adam and Eve are one person? Can I finish? Without you interrupting. Without you interrupting, he asked me what is the meaning of the term Ahad. Okay, the term Ahad in Hebrew, when it's, when it's used in Deuteronomy 6 4, it is relevant not to your spouse, it is relevant to God. So when it is associated with God Almighty, oh, wait, 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 wait. allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. 
Deuteronomy 6.4 is talking about God, God Almighty. Yes? Shema Israel. Yes? This is talking here, O Israel. Yes? It's talking in relevance to God Almighty, not to your spouse. Yeah, here, o Israel. You're doing it your again. Lord, your God, your Lord is one. How many gods is that? Is it three? No, you it's only three? one. It's only three? one. If you allow me to finish. How many persons is it? Okay, if you don't let me finish. Your Lord, then, your God. Then your you Lord don't have the one. right to say that I'm talking over you. Bro, you've been talking over me the whole time. No, I'm not. I'm answering yeah, your no, question, you have, but you, you keep have, interrupting. You so when he talks, you go ask any Hebrew persons whether they believe in the Trinity and they'll say gladly and explicitly, no, they don't. They believe in one Unitarian God, just like Jesus did in John 7 and 3. Yes, this is eternal life that they may know you, the Father, the only true God, from Jesus' own testimony. And even then, these Trinitarians will deny it. What was the purpose of Jesus then? purpose of Jesus, like every prophet, is to bring them to one God. Like Jesus says, I... By myself can do nothing. He's, he's demonstrating that he is just a servant of God. Are you going to allow me to talk now? If you allow me, then yes, I will. Well, Jesus is deity. He's prophesied throughout the Bible. Jesus Mark, doesn't look say he's Almighty God. Let's look at Mark 1.1. One, one. No, 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 one minute, one minute. I'm still looking Mark for the three in one. Mark 1.1. One, one, Don't Hello, change the topic. Please. I'm looking Jesus, for the three in one. Jesus is prophesied as the one who come, as, as the Lord who comes to his temple, right? And in Malachi 3, the Lord says clearly, let me read it to you, just to show that I, I, I'm not making this up. Malachi 3 says God doesn't change. Your God changed from divine to flesh and divine. Let, let's just read the passage, bro, because when I was That is a change in nature. When I was talking over you, like... What oh, was that? Yeah. Okay, so I got one, two, three so Christians. one for you and one for everybody else. Why don't you shut up, Hashim? Let me just keep talking, bro. Stop oh, you don't like it now? Bro, when I interrupt. <laughs> bro, it says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. So this is talking about John in Mark 1. Right? Yeah. And the Lord whom you seek seek shall suddenly come to his temple even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in behold he shall come save the lord of hosts what is that that to the three one nothing this is Malachi i want you to prove the three in one being that's all one, one. so far you're mark failing one, one. i'm you sorry to what I'm mark one one clearly says let me show you here yes <laughs> how many verses is shown so far none of them mark one, one. claim three in one being none of them you see this is their central doctrine and not one place in the Bible does it explicitly say that God Almighty is three in one being. Yes? Look at the, the Muslims. We have so many Try places in the Quran where it says name. Allah is so one. Just keep the beginning of the gospel of the Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So you remember what I said earlier, right? No three in one being. As yet. it is written in the prophets, behold, I send I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before me. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. So that talk, that, baptism that chapter, of repentance. Remember that, that verse. That verse in that verse in Malachi three yeah. was referring to God coming to His temple. That temple was Jesus Christ. Where does it say God in there? You just made it up. It He's saying that Lord, he's referring to God. It says the Lord will come to his temple in Malachi 3. Yeah, but Abraham is called the Lord. That doesn't make him God. No, no. In fact, okay. Moses oh, is called Elohim. Read the Hebrew. Does it make him God? Read